FPUC Retro. FPUC, UI, and PUA. What is the difference? How do you get that? And what do they mean? In this throwback video on unemployment, I explain how you get FPUC, which under the third service package is $400 a week, from March to August. UI and PUA are expend extended during that same period of time as well. But Representative Ron Wyden, Democrat of Oregon, wants to go bigger. He says when the bill lands in the Senate, as a Democrat, he's going to push for $600. Will he push for $600 FPUC? <laughs> Retro? We shall see. Viewers think he will. Enjoy this throwback video explaining unemployment, UI, PUA, Escalade benefits, and retro benefits on Overnight's LA Light. This throwback video explaining unemployment. FPUC will be coming to you very quickly, but how soon should you expect its delivery? Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is LLA. I hope you're good and safe. Uh, this is afternoon's LLA that starts every day at 3.30 Pacific Standard Time with a check, then goes to Hazard Pay, FPUC, which is this video, and next, Rent Assistance. Big, massive news this morning. Great news, as you heard on morning's LLA. This channel is reporting of over two weeks exclusive detailed line item calculations about the extension about the second stimulus check the second stimulus package and what's going to get approved was all confirmed by steve mnuchin we had told you what between the parties of the republicans and democrats had been approved how much they had reached an agreement at and what was holding up the negotiations as to fpuc we had told you that initially the Republicans proposed zero, then they wrote it at $100, then they proposed it $200 when they introduced the HEALS Act. I also told you before that introduction of the HEALS Act that the Republicans would likely come in at $300 to $500, and that if they offered $400 to $500 to 2021, we would have a deal. Ironically, they didn't float that. What they did was they pushed around with $200 for a few days. Then the president tweeted uh, two Fridays ago, $600 for one week. They offered a one-week idea of $600, which no one would agree to, killing the viewers of this channel. So ultimately, late last week, they came with an offer of $400 for a finite period of time. I reported there was $400 to the end of this year, but it had strange contingencies. It got rejected. Then the president issued an executive order on Saturday that seemed to suggest it was $400 a week, but it's not. And now this morning, confusion erupted. Well, here we go. All that was confirmed minutes uh, this morning by Steve Mnuchin, that the negotiations of the second stimulus package had rampant agreements, whether it was check, rent, um, schools, uh, um, food stamps, PPP. There was agreement after agreement on agreement on everything. And then when we got to FPUC, it was sort of that one thing that you could sort of say, maybe we didn't agree to. It was so close. Let me explain where we are. What happened was the negotiation of $600 from $400 fell apart because the $400 was not a pure $400. And what's in the executive orders we sit here today is also not a pure $400. So let me explain if you're going to get money, how you would get money, and whether or not you qualify for the money. First, I got to back up. A lot of people, whether it's broadcast news or other channels, have now seemed to make people think that $400 of FPUC is for everyone of every walk of life of U.S. citizenship. No. FPUC is for people who are currently on UI, unemployment benefits, or PUA, pandemic unemployment assistance. It goes on top of it. So unfortunately, there's a lot of bad reporters out there that are making people watch news and think they, and, and, and suggesting to them that the federal government is sending everyone out $400 checks just because. No, this is an extension of unemployment benefits enhance, an enhancement on top of UI or PUA. You have to already be approved 
for UI and PUA to be receiving this. This is people who already were receiving those benefits, already were receiving $600 a week. This is the extension of that FPUC at a different number. That's the first thing. Second thing is, will you ever see $400 of this executive order? No, the executive order is unlawful. The executive order is gonna get invalidated by a court of law either Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of this coming of this week. The problem is that the federal government uh, the problem is that the president knows that he can't send out money. He cannot call up the treasury, which he did by executive order and say, hey, just send out some FPUC money. He can't do that. Next, viewers ask me, well, what about the 100, 400? Am I get the 300, 400? You're not going to get anything because what's going to happen is the Democrats or a Democratic governor is going to go to federal court, sue the White House and sue the president and say, hey, this is illegal. You can't be doing this under the Constitution. It's going to be ruled illegal and immediately it's going to be shut down. But there's good news. <laughs> Who cares about the lawyers and all their stuff? We know that's going to happen. Here's the good news. There's going to be an agreement between Steve and Nancy about a number. And the number is going to be a pure number. It's going to be a pure $400, $500, or $600 number. It's not going to be, we're going to get over a little bit, and then the state is going to do a little bit of this. It's not going to be that, because the states have already indicated they can't do it. What am I talking about? The states can't do this strange mathematical, uh, you know, uh, tango. It takes two to tango, you know, and, and there's only one tango in, in this in this song. It's Steve Mnuchin. He thinks the states can do this calculation where I give you a little bit, and then you figure it out, and then you give a little bit more, and I give some. No, they've already... <laughs> They've already said for weeks they can't do it. So when Steve and Nancy agree upon a number, it's going to be literally a number, and the federal government's going to send out the number. It's going to be exactly the way we were on the first time for FPUC starting in April. Whether it's 600, 500, 400, and the federal government's going to send it out, well, it's going to be sent out from the states via the federal government, and it's going to be as simple as that. When would we see this? Uh, it's not going to be seen this week, I don't think because I'm going to give you the routing times in a second, but it's going to take a few days to invalidate the executive order. So it's clearly not today. <laughs> it's clearly not tomorrow, but it's going to take a few days to invalidate the executive order. Am I going to receive retroactive benefits for FPUC? Yes. There's no one in this group that doesn't think you're entitled to ret retroactive benefits. Next, um, when would we actually see the money go out? So here's the rub. The rub is that FPUC is part of a very big second stimulus package that I've been detailing line item about what's agreed upon and what's not agreed upon. This check is agreed upon. The rent assistance, rent eviction moratorium, a mortgage forbearance, student loan debt, um, food stamps, PPP, all these things are agreed upon. I detailed for the amount of money and how it's agreed upon, except one item. Last week, I told you big trouble. Big trouble was this big bailout of states in the second stimulus package from the Democrats. One trillion dollars. One trillion dollars. And that one trillion dollar bailout of states is why you're not getting your FPUC. It's not because you're not, you're not getting your, the reason why you're not getting FPUC is not 600, 400, 300, 200. It's not that type of negotiation. Why? Because we know it. Steve Mnuchin said this morning that on anything that he and Nancy agreed has to be paid, they just split the difference. We were splitting things on everything that made sense. If they started zero and we stands 10, we split it. We go, we went line by line. On things we agreed upon, we split. We split food. She was right. We split food through 2021. We went down the list. Um, that's the great news. So they did not want to pay FPUC. The Rep rather, the Republicans didn't want to pay this big state bailout. What are we talking about? One trillion dollars. It's insane. It's one trillion dollars to be given to states that had money given to them during the first COVID-19 uh, uh, stimulus package. We're given that money, fortunes, did not give it to you, the citizens, did not give it to you when you're unemployed or laid off, R did not give it to anyone. Rather, they kept it for themselves and then fired their employees. Let me give you an example. There's cities all across Southern California who asked for relief during the first pandemic. And rather than, and, and they got it. And when they got the money, what did they do? Did they give it to their employees so that they kept them employed? That's what they asked the money for. No, 
they fired them or asked them to take early retirement or asked them to quit or asked them to be transferred, asked them to take a wage reduction. They got rid of them. So they got, they got paid from the federal government to fire employees. So what do they do with that money? They use the money for other purposes. And that's what was discussed. There should have been a financial control board, especially in New York City, for New York City to succeed, said, said Mnuchin. These cities and states and counties got all this money that was supposed to be your money. And what did they do? They fired you. They weren't the only ones that did this. The airlines did as well. So I have airline workers who are now uh, on unemployment benefits because the airlines asked for bailouts, got bailouts in the first pandemic, and didn't use the money to pay you. So what are they doing with all this money? They're using it to make their budget because they hadn't been saving money over the years. They've just been spending money rampantly. So what happened here? Well, we have a lot of people that want to do more work. During the financial crisis, this is Mnuchin talking. And he's slamming Obama a little bit, which is not very cool. We had a we had a $25 on top of federal employment we put uh, from the Obama administration, but we put a $400 offer, which we thought was fair, to the $600 replacement or 75%. This ensure that those who are employed are ac- unemployed are actually getting paid. Um, the question before that is $600 a week bogus to have job growth? Why aren't you not giving people their money if it's not their own fault? And he actually said something very refreshing. He actually said, hey, it's not your fault you're unemployed. Finally, after two months of of Mitch McConnell saying you're unemployed because it's your fault, you're staying unemployed because it's your fault, you're staying home and getting rich off the the American economy, off the federal government at $600 a week, it's your fault. Steve Mnuchin got off of that and didn't do that. And he says, you know, we just want to make sure that people get money. Well, it's a little bit too late, Steve. Um, but the good news is that the offer was $400. The bad news is that it was not a pure $400 offer. So what are we going to have happen next, L.A.? So this is what's going to happen. The federal courts are going to, you know, invalidate this FPUC executive order. Nancy and Steve are going back to the negotiation table. She said on Sunday she wants to go back to the negotiation table. He was asked that question. He said, I'm not going to answer the question. Of course you're going to do it. Um, you're just waiting to see what happens in federal court. I, I, I get that. <laughs> we all, we see the cards. I mean, it's like, it's not poker. I can see the cards. And so they're going to get back into the into the room and negotiate. They're going to reach, reach an agreement on FPUC. And the agreement will be that FPUC is sent out the same way it was sent out before. Not this crap ola where states calculate things and it's one hundred dollars a week and it's four hundred dollars a week and it's reduced thing it's this thing people are asking me about how about that provision that says if you don't make a hundred dollars before then you're not getting anything and you're getting this and you're getting that i don't think that's gonna survive either it's just it's just a lot of it's because they were writing an executive order they thought they could just pile it in because they could i mean it's their executive order they could just pile in what they want to pile in it's not it's not not gonna exist it's going to be a normal fpc like we had before so if if you got six, if it was six hundred dollars before, it'll be some amount. The good news and the ironic news is that kid with the purple shirt, who's today wearing, uh, I guess this is called like you know pinkish uh, shirt, said to you two weeks ago, "We're gonna land somewhere three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, and I think if it's four hundred, five hundred, you have to take it. It's, 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 you know, what are we gonna do? We're gonna haggle over two hundred dollars a week for the from all the way to whenever." I think it's going to happen. It's going to be retroactive benefits. Um, and the great news is that it could come to you quickly. So let me explain to you how soon you could see this happening. It's faster than the stimulus check. I'll tell you why. The stimulus check, we know the timing of the stimulus check, if you watch the video right before this. it will t- From the date at which Nancy and Steve reach an agreement on FPUC, It'll take two days for Senate to vote on it to get it approved. It'll take up to one day for the president to sign it. So that's three days so far. How long does it take for the Treasury to send the money out to the states? It really uh, doesn't even take um, seven days. So, I mean, we're less than five days from the federal government to get them to the states. Ultimately, I know it's going to happen. i got to warn you about this. I know it's going to happen. There's going to be some states who are very fast in changing the computer systems for $600 a week to whatever the new number is, and they'll route it out very quickly. And there'll be other states, which I detailed extensively on this channel since April, whether it's Texas or Florida or Illinois or Hawaii, who is simply absolutely horrible in getting money out fast on FPUC and PUA and UI, 
they are potentially going to be slow again. So understand that your neighbor in one state may get your FPUC, may get their unemployment, enhanced unemployment benefits of FPUC faster than you, just because that state just moves faster. That's what's going to happen. I'm going to be here for you. I'm not leaving anywhere. We're all going to work working together. Uh, a lot of great, great news. I'm sorry you've had to go through this confusion. I'm sorry that um, you may need that FPUC money this week. Um, but what I also want to say is a personal note. I'm very, very troubled and I'm, I apologize for you, even though I didn't do it, that there are other channels out there that are taking FPUC and turning the confusion of FPUC into a stimulus check. So there's a lot of channels in the last three days who have said in both in titles, in content, where they sit there and they talk, and also in calculations that, and also in comments on their channel, that you're going to be getting a stimulus check of sixteen hundred dollars a month that you're going to get a st that the stimulus check of sixteen hundred dollars a month for everyone was agreed upon by the president by executive order on sunday or saturday it's so wrong and it's really causing a lot of confusion fpuc is not a stimulus check it's part of a stimulus package and fpuc is not delegated for everyone. Not everyone is eligible for FPUC. I have people contacting me saying, how do I get that FPUC to uh, LLA? How do I get this? How do I get that? And ultimately the problem is for those people, whether it's Tom or T Nancy or Tani or Tony or whoever's calling me up and saying, how do I get this FPUC? The problem is that you have to have been on UI and you have to have been on PUA and then you're eligible for FPUC. And for channels to tell you that you're getting a $1,600 stimulus check and that that stimulus check is coming out to you now and it's, and it's a surprise stimulus check is really causing a lot of confusion. So I'm sorry they're out there. In other regards, stay with me. <laughs> Stay with me. Go to the front of this channel. Hit the subscribe button. There's an alert button right next to it. Hit it there. I'm going incredible detail. I'm going into the into the numbers and the calculations and spending a lot of hours and ensuring that you get the correct information right now and right now. If you want to look at other people, you can look at them. But please, I'm sorry that they're confusing everyone rampantly. Uh, let's stay motivated. Let's stay inspired. Let's stay positive. LLA e Afternoons continues next with rent assistance, which is really on that one, uh, a certain other person made everyone confused, and I can tell you who he is, and I have no qualms about saying it. And coming up later this evening is Evenings LLA. A lot of fun. Thank you for the very nice comments on last night's video. I had a lot of fun with it. And thank you for watching Mornings LLA, which was our most watched morning broadcast ever today. Um, we have a goal to get to 200,000 subscribers in the next two weeks. I think we can do it. So let's stay motivated, stay inspired, stay positive, and stay up LA for more.